Hello guys, welcome back to the channel. Theo here. Yes, I know based on the title you are asking yourself why. Yes, I did purchase a new car. Let me explain. Let me show you the car and let me tell you why I decided to purchase that car. Follow me. If this is the first time you stop by the channel, make sure that you hit that subscribe button, hit the notification bell and like the video because I have a lot of content and now I'm bringing new content from this car that is in front of me. Yes, I know you're asking yourself why did I decide to purchase another car when I already have two cars at home? Well, if you remember, I lost my E36 M3 recently, two months ago, and I made a video about it because, um, you know, that was uh, my way of grieving the car and kind of saying bye to the car. Yes, that car was a manual and I did love driving that manual so much. And for that reason, I decided to purchase another manual car. Yes, it is true I could have converted my E46 M3 to manual. That's probably gonna happen in the future, but for the moment I like to enjoy as an automatic because it's kind of like my daily going to work and whatnot. And having manual, you know, here in the traffic in a DC area, it's not always easy. So I want something that I can drive on a weekend, enjoy, and really having that as my daily, it's not really practical for me because I am a lot, a lot, every single time I'm in traffic. When I go to work, when I come back from work, so traffic time, traffic jams is part of my life and really having to always have to put in first, second and whatnot, it can be troublesome at some point. That's why I like to have automatic as a daily and then my fun cars, I would like them to be manual. When I purchased the F80 M3, at that point it was my only car, so I wanted something that would be practical for me. So I decided to go with the DCT because well that was what would work for my lifestyle of going to work and you know filming youtube and whatnot but then after that i started purchasing other cars and if you look when i purchased the mini cooper it was a manual although i was driving that a little more than I used to that's because it was corona time and wasn't any traffic jam so i could take that car to work now that everything is turning back to normal people try to drive a little more now and we have now the same type of traffic that we used to have in the past pre-covid now, enough talking, but this is pretty much the reasoning for me, you know, trying to purchase this P car. Now, also, one thing I need to point out is that whenever I was looking for the F80 M3, it was either the F80 M3 or this car. And for some reason, I just decided to go with the F80 M3, I think because it had more power. But then I had to learn that power is not everything. Power is not everything. Power is good in straight line and, you know, and whatnot but handling is important and at this point of my life i decided to choose handling over power when i had an e36 m3 i had so much joy out of that car compared to any car that i've ever had except the mini cooper because even on a mini cooper although it's not fast i also had a lot of fun because those cars i can really turn them around the way i wanted to and that feeling I was never never able to replicate it with any other car that I currently own. Yes, the E46 M3 gives me some of that, but because it's not manual, I don't have everything. The F80 M3, trust me, does not get me even half of it. Because the F80 M3 is so fast that whenever you're like in third gear, if you hit 5,000 RPM, you already are 120 miles per hour. At that point, you're in a red zone, you're about to get ticket and get arrested and go to jail. And I don't want that for myself. So. E36 M3 was a perfect car that I could hit the 5000 RPM up, hear the engine sound and not do crazy speed. So that's why most of the time I would enjoy it on the weekend, although it was an old car compared to the F80 M3. F80 M3 is great and the track is a monster because I've seen video of people that take the car to like Nürburgring and if yeah, there's a video about the guy that uh, it has like M4 taxi, Nürburgring and he's killing it. And yes, that car is really what you, that's when you can really get the most potential out of the F80. But on the street, it's really, really, really difficult. So for that reason, I decided to go back to the car that I was supposed to get when I was looking for the F80 M3. And you can see behind me, it's simply a Cayman S. Yes, and I have it with this sapphire blue color and the car is just looking stunning. Let me bring you closer.
without further ado, let me introduce you to the newest member of the family, 2014 Porsche Cayman S. And this Porsche is nice. Right now it is filthy because I literally drove the car a few days ago. It was rainy as hell when I picked up the car and it's just looking messy. The rain stopped today so I decided to just kind of sh shoot this really quick and show you guys the car. I'm going to detail the car and make a proper video where I go around, you know, showing you every single option and whatnot. Today I just wanted for you to guys to know that yes, this car arrived and this car is now in my possession and I love it. I mean, this car is gorgeous and of course it is six speed manual right there, man. One thing I love about this car is the fact that it has this GT4 wing and man, you already know me, I'm going to make it look like probably like a GT4 or a GTS or whatnot. But this car is beautiful. I love the color. I love the way it sits. It is lower than the F80 M3. I'm going to make so much video comparing this to any other car that I have at the moment. But yes, I just wanted to guys to see the car and see what has been cooking in the past cooking in the background that i did not tell you only a few people knew that this car was coming and they kept it secret and i cannot wait i couldn't wait to show that to you guys and now that I, I have done it i am so happy this car is beautiful it is night and day comparison with the driving with bmw i mean this is this is crazy i just drove the car one time and then i just fell in love with it i mean there is not bmw doesn't even compare the driving dynamics is it's, it's night and day different the shifting of that manual gear it's out of this world i mean i don't know how that is possible that you can make something so crisp and so sharp and so it, you cannot miss a gear with that car it is that good it is really really that good i mean this is just a cayman s i imagine the gt4 the gt3 manual how the transmission will feel i mean the car is as you can see is sitting right now with like a jeep cherokee with a four by four wheel space here but you know i'm gonna fix all of that this is really how i got the car and i need to just start enjoying it it has been raining so i didn't really drive it today is the first time i drive it after i brought the car home it has been sitting in the garage for a few days because I just couldn't drive. It was raining all the time, but now I can actually enjoy it. So, what do you guys think? Give me a comment. Give me, I mean, you see, you can see dirt all around. It's dirty, it's filthy. I didn't have a chance um, to clean it this weekend. I'm really going to detail it for you guys. Take nice picture for the Instagram and also post it online for you guys to see it oh man i am so happy about this acquisition and yeah yeah i mean I, I had a lot of explaining to do at home because now i have f80 m3 i have this i have e46 m3 and i know i wasn't really planning on buying the car now i knew that this was going to be my next car but i just didn't time it now when i saw this i don't know it's like everything just fell right into place for me to get this car man and it's coming also from someone who's an enthusiast that took care of the car pretty 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 well thank you again for you guys watching thank you 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 right there yeah, you mm -hmm. 